But there is one last thing <laughs> I'd like to talk to you about today. Now, this, this next thing's a little unusual for us. It's a sneak peek of a product that will be announced in the first calendar quarter of 2007. We usually keep things pretty, pretty corralled until we're ready to ship them, but in this case, I think it completes the story, and to understand where we're going, I'd like you to get a sneak peek of this. So we decided to go ahead and, and show it to you today. So we've now got music, and TV shows, and audiobooks, and movies, and all sorts of great digital content on the iTunes store. And uh, you can take that content, again, whether it be music or TV shows or movies, let's focus on movies here, and you can purchase it and download it over the internet to your computer. It can be a Mac or a PC. I'm going to choose a Mac here because I'm biased, but that can be a PC too. <laughs> and you can take that content and enjoy it on your computer, whether it's a desktop or a notebook, and you can also sync it to your iPod. And it's really great. What about that big screen flat TV you just bought last weekend? You'd love to be able to, say, watch your movies on that, right? So what are we going to do to complete this picture? Well, you need a box to drive that big screen TV to play movies. I mean, if you want to play DVDs, you've got to go out and buy a DVD player, right? Well, you've got to go out and somehow get a little iTunes player here to play this stuff. But how is this box going to talk to the computer? Do I want to string cables throughout my house? Because my computer is probably in my den or in my, some other room in the house, and my TV is in the living room or wherever it might be. So I'm going to talk to it using wireless networking. And that's going to get the content from my computer to this box from the box onto the TV. Make sense? Right? That's what we'd all like to do. We don't want to tear up our walls to string cables. So let's talk about this box. This is the missing piece. Well, here it is. This is what it looks like. And uh, internally, we call it ITV. It's going to let you enjoy your media on your big screen flat TV. Right? That's what it's for. Now, it's a code name internally, ITV. We've got to come up with a final name before we introduce it in the first calendar quarter of next year. We're just going to call it ITV today. Now, let's look at what ITV gives us. Let's spin it around, look at the connectors on the back. First of all, what it doesn't give us is a power brick. It's got the power supply built in it because you don't want a bunch of power bricks hanging around your big screen flat TV. Uh, so it's got the power supply built in. It's got 802.11 wireless networking built in, industry standard for home networking. Talks to PCs and Macs and everything else. We've got a USB 2 port. We've got an Ethernet jack. In case you do have a terrestrial network, you can, you can use it as well. Now let's talk about getting the video out onto your TV. We've got an HDMI connector. This is the new connector that all big screen flat TVs have. That you can, With one cable, you can send digital video and digital audio over to the TV. So it's got that built in. If you don't have that, it's got component video and analog audio. And it also has digital audio via an optical cable, if you want to use that. So it's got really nice, very simple complement of ways to hook up to your TV. So ITV is controlled with our very simple remote, easy to use. And you can just hook it directly to your big, flat screen TV, or more likely, you probably hook it to your set-top box, just like your DVD player is hooked to your set-top box. Instead of number three for your DVD player, you just go number four for ITV. Or if you've got a big receiver, you can hook the sound into that. Pretty much whatever kind of setup you've got, ITV just hooks up. No problem. And so let me go ahead and just show you what this thing does. I happen to have one right over here. And, uh, This is, uh, this is it right here. That's all it is. Very simple. Simple little box. And more importantly, I have a working one right here. And uh, so let's get it up on the screen. And these are probably the most gorgeous graphics you've ever seen on a TV set. Uh, and I've got a real big screen flat TV here, so. Uh, we got movies, TV shows, music podcasts, photos, and some settings, right? So what do you say we, uh, we start with movies? We go into movies. 
And uh, first of all, iTunes is going to you know, probably present some information here, show you what's new on iTunes, and the artwork will just uh, float by here. But we might want to go and select a movie, and let me just show you some, some cool things here. Uh, let me go down to The Incredibles. And uh, again, if I just hold here for a minute, it gives me a, gives me a little synopsis of the film, tells me about the cast, the directors, the producers, gives me the length. And I want to play it, I just push it. Pretty cool, huh? And again, these are the same movies I downloaded and have on my computer and sync to iPods. The same exact file plays on my iPod, my computer, and my big flat screen TV. OK, let me play you one other one here. Uh, I just want to play you a little bit of Pirates. Again, I'm going to let this run for a while so you can see the quality of this again. We're very, very happy with how this has turned out. That gives you a feeling for the quality uh, that you can see on your big flat screen TV. Now, let me go up and just uh, show you another cool thing that we can do. Uh, Again, because we have uh, wireless networking, we can use your home network to go out to the internet and go to apple.com, where we have the, the, the most popular movie trailer download or movie trailer site in, in, in the world. And we can view movie trailers right from your couch on your big flat screen TV. So uh, let's just go ahead and uh, uh, you know, go to theatrical trailers here and uh, you know, pick one. I, this is a movie that I'm interested in, All the King's Men. So let's take a look at the trailer. Pretty cool, huh? So you can look at your favorite movie trailers sitting on your couch, streaming over your home network through ITV. All righty. Now what I'd like to do is uh, I want to go back and uh, go to TV shows, just show you what it's like to watch a TV show. Uh, I'm going to go, uh, let's go down to the office here. And uh, here's a, a fun episode, actually. <laughs> so you get the idea. And. Uh, so this is what we can do with TV shows. And again, I'm just doing this all with this little remote right from here. So let's go down to music. And again, we're all familiar with uh, what that might be like. Again, we can look at our beautiful album art just uh, strolling on by. And I might want to go down here, let's say, oh, let's say artists. And uh, I love Bob Dylan, so I'm going to pick Bob Dylan. Here's all my Dylan albums here. And uh, you know. Highway 61, let's say, you know. So again, you know, a lot of us have our stereos hooked up to our TVs, right? The best stereo in our house now in our home entertainment system. And uh, so it's nice to be able to listen to music. Let's go to podcasts now. We can actually watch podcasts on our big screen, big screen TV. So I put one on here. And again, these are, you know, sometimes uh, have a large dynamic range of professionalism. But, uh, <laughs> but they're pretty great. And some of them are a great source of, of what's going on. Hello and good Wednesday. Today we have an interview with Jeff Pulver of Pulver.com in anticipation of next week's Vaughn conference in Boston. But before we give you, Jeff, a word on this coming Monday. So again, you know, you can watch podcasts on your big screen TV with your couch. It's pretty cool. All right. And uh, then I, last thing I want to show you is photos. You know, photos are great because photos are in high def. You know, the sensors on all these digital cameras now have so many pixels that they they are high def in resolution, so they just look gorgeous on these, uh, on these big screen flat TVs. So let's go into photos. And again, it shows me you know, all my photo albums and my library and pictures just stroll on by here. Um, it's a really wonderful way to enjoy your photos. And uh, so let me go down to you know, road trip here.
So you get the idea of what you can do with this. It's just an incredible way to watch your photos. So we think that ITV is going to be pretty popular for movies, TV shows, music, podcasts, and photos. We're pretty excited about it. So that gives you a little taste of it. All righty. So again, ITV, I think it's the most stunning graphics we've seen on a television. Movies, TV shows, music, photos, podcasts, and more. What do you think? You like it? We think it completes the picture here. And now I can download content from iTunes and enjoy it on my computer, my iPod, and the big screen TV in my living room. We think it's really going to be pretty great. So ITV lets us enjoy our media on our big screen TV. Works with iTunes on PCs or Macs, right? just like iPods. Works with PCs or Macs. It's coming in Q1 of 2007, and we're going to announce the price today. We're going to price it at just $299. So now you can get great content online, download it over the internet. It's now playing on a computer near you. It's now playing on an iPod near you, and it's coming soon to a TV near you.